Hey, good morning, guys. This is Simon with Trade and Perform Coaching. Um, guys, the uh, Supernova is back, and uh, it, with a little bit of help from some of the room members, I was um, able to go through and uh, find where I was struggling to get the Supernova on the higher time frame. We're getting it on the lower time frame. So here comes the review for the whole week. So I'm just going to warn you ahead of time. If you don't want to go through a detailed review, this is not the video for you, right? So I'm going to take about 20 minutes to go through the whole thing. <clears throat> Starting right now, here's the legal disclaimer. If you'd like to read through it, please do. If you don't want to read through it, fine by me. Basically, you can lose a lot of money day trading futures. So let's get started on Monday morning, right? So I'm on a, um, excuse me, jump to a 15 tick here real quick. And then I'm going to do it on ES in a separate video. Okay, so here is Monday morning of this week, okay? So uh, first of all, to make sure everyone knows what a supernova is, a supernova is when, as the market is coming down, a power bar is formed. That's step one, power bar is formed. Step two, you get price to close above the power bar that's right on this bar right here this bar closed above this bar so I'm looking at these two bars we're now in supernova so I'm going to make this really simple for those who've been members in the room they already know there's lots of different setups so on and so forth uh, some work better than others I'm going to make this simple I'm just going to go by the the first two triangles as long as it's somewhere near the bottom of the channel not the top of the channel somewhere it has to be in the bottom of the channel okay and I'm just going to count the next two and see if they're profitable, right? So supernova, this is 8.30 in the morning. Triangle one, triangle two. First two triangles that are not in the top of the channel, right? So next, market comes down. You can see we went supernova again. Market comes down. Triangle one, triangle two, right? So, of course... The pink bars and the bars with yellow dots, so on and so forth, some are worth more than others. But I'm just going to go through, the, keep going through the count, and I'm going to show you where it gets difficult, right? So again, you can see here, it goes supernova yet again over here at 9 o'clock. It comes down, triangle up, and, and I want to point out something even um, more important, which is the, um, once you go supernovas, it's actually the bars with the wicks on them. Uh, the algos help significantly, right? There's no question about it. But it's the bars with the long wicks on them actually get the reversal. So I will actually be cheating up and using the bars with the long wicks. It doesn't work every time, right? You have to have the triangle come up so it's a one-bar stop right behind it. Uh, again, you'll notice we go supernova, wick. Supernova, wick. The triangle up confirms you need it on the next bar, right? Uh, but it shortens the stop down to basically 10, 10 points, right? So, um, again, it's gone supernova, wick one, wick two, triangle one, two. Uh, both gave you a lift, right? Um, and in addition, the apex traps work after it's gone supernova as well. It goes supernova again. I want it in the bottom part of the channel, so nothing over here. And then see this dramatic roll down here it has gone supernova again and if you took this trade you escaped but if you get three bars sideways like this i would just bail on the trade and now you know the supernova is busted this is on monday now you have to wait for a new series but you can already tell by 9 a.m you're quite profitable right nothing to do over here it hasn't gone supernova go supernova again now on supernova this is where it can get tricky so I want to be clear this is after 1030 my stops increase so this is where you have to have the triangle up. this is where waiting for the triangle up will increase or lower your stops right um, I really feel as long as you can get it to touch the bottom channel um, it's half a dozen one dime the other I think you can use a 10 point stop on either one either the triangle up or the wick the triangle offers more surety I think, it, again, a 10 or 12 point stop max is what you should be doing on this. But again, these wicks stopped, whereas this triangle just lifted. Uh, this is the end of the trading day morning for me anyway, so I, I'm doubtful that I even took that trade or look there. And then we'll go into the afternoon. So I don't trade New York lunch. 
after New York lunch, I needed to go supernova. So you'll see it goes supernova right over here. Uh, let's make sure that it went supernova. I don't think it did, actually. It did not. So let's see. Supernova, supernova. It did not go um, supernova in any of that. And then it just launched and just consolidated sideways, never went supernova. I'm not going to try and solve all the problems. That just took off, and that's that. There's nothing to say one way or the other, um, except except that if you're um, all the way down in the hole and you can get an apex trap, um, that works. But in this case, you couldn't get that either. Just it just went sideways on you. There's nothing to do, and it took off, so that's fine. And that's going to be the end of the day for me there. That's that's a profitable day, right? First two or three trades, you're in business. And again, I'm going to welcome feedback, questions, anything you have about this. So I'm going to come into the next day. This is Tuesday morning. This is overnight session. I do trade the overnight session sometimes when I get up early. There's nothing for me to do here. Uh, it just extended so far that I'm waiting for it to go supernova again. I'm still waiting for it to go. Uh, let's see if we want supernova here. So this is a case where it went supernova, but see how much length is in between here like it just broke down yeah no nothing doing i'm waiting for another supernova we launched now i'm looking for my trades right but i want them in the bottom part of the channel again so we went supernova long okay again i prefer it in the bottom of the channel this was iffy this was good to go now if you look if you want to look at some differences i'll do that in later videos or in one-on-one -on -one coaching or while we're in the room because you know the color combinations and the algos there improve or, or don't improve the trade. Again, uh, I will say the bars with the white dots, I'll take that almost anywhere in the channel after we've gone supernova. That's a very good trade, right? You can see again, see this right here? I know we've broken down again. So once I get this, this is on Tuesday, I'm going to wait for supernova again. So nothing. I don't have supernova yet, you'll notice, right? So I still need it to go supernova. I'm now in supernova, right? I'm now in supernova star up you only got one bar on this if you didn't scale quickly you got stopped I'm, we're not trying to make it perfect star two i would have gone long on that star i would have gotten scaled at least if not paid this is uh 69 to 82 so 10 points is definitely for me and in this environment that's a good trade and then this is a supernova apex trap i'm long that star right and you can see that I would and that and i'm all right with that when i'm going through this this just would have been a stop. That's all right. I doubt I scaled that off. Uh, the only problem here, as everyone knows, is this is 9.50 to 10 o'clock. And I'm cool with that. I don't have to be perfect in every trade. I know that this is my highest time frame stop out rate for those members in the room. People will understand what I'm saying there, right? So, um, again, we're no longer in supernova. I'm waiting. And really, this is past the time that I'll trade anymore. This has gone supernova at... Um, at 10.30, if you'll look. Oh, actually, it ha oh, yeah, it's gone supernova right here. Apologies. So you'll notice hammer one, triangle one lifts. Hammer two with the star lifts. Uh, that's actually with the with the divergent bar and the star, very good. I will take that. Um, and then I'm done for the day on that. That's getting too close to New York lunch. I'm going to let New York lunch go through. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm not even going to bother assessing it. Here's 12 o'clock. So after 12 o'clock, I'm going to do what's natural. I'm going to let it go supernova. It's now gone supernova. I'll be long that star. Okay. And you got to realize this is a payment for me, right? If I go long that star, right, that's 32 and a quarter to 41. That's close enough to 10 points for me to justify getting some risk off. Uh, I know it's not a one-to-one -one RR there. Uh, again, you'll want to line up location, which I'm not bothering doing, and whether it's the low of the day. You can already see this is quite extended. So we'd really like another pullback like this, right? So it's pulled back. That's why you want the dip. And now it's gone supernova, right? So it's gone supernova. I'm long that bar, right? That's probably it for me because that's the top of the last hour, right? But you'll see once you're long this bar, it's a 10-point stop, so it's a little bit different math. But it's cutting our stops in half from 18 to 22 to 10 points. And therefore, your lifts are quite easier, right? So supernova. And if you'll go back, members know what I'm talking about, and start lining up your bars. Like, for example, what you'll see is if you have the yellow dot 
or the purple bar in front of the hammer, much nicer lifts, right? Those without it do more poorly. If it has the white dot on it, it does great. And then if it just breaks the supernova and traps back in, you can take a shot at it. It'll often re result in big trades. So that's Tuesday. I'm going to go do Wednesday now, right? Skipping all this noise. Here's 6 a.m. Again, I would have been looking for the first moves off the bottom. Again, this is just hammer with nothing else on it, but it lifts. That's at 715. Uh, this is still within the structure of the supernova. I would go along that hammer. Again, it lifts. Does it lift for 20 points? No, it lifts 98 to 09, 10 points. So it is a scalping method that you turn into a swing when you've got the momentum. But last week was a tough week, so we're just putting down p &L. I need it to go supernova again now. Unless I have a white dot on it, that's the only exception to this. Or it's an apex trap way outside like that. That's okay. But again, I'll go into more detail on those setups later. Uh, again, we're just focusing on this video and finding the supernova. So now we've gone supernova here, right? It's 848. So now I'm looking. I'm going to go along that pink bar. I'm paid. Okay, now I'm just going to do it step by step. This is Wednesday. I'm going to do this till 11 o'clock on Wednesday. Okay, there's no yellow dot or purple bar before. I'm still going to go along that star. I'm paid. Okay, I'm going to slow it down here. We're still in supernova, right? If I go along this bar, I'm going to get stopped. Again, you'll notice, you'll notice the bars that work the best have a yellow dot and or a purple bar and or a triangle somewhere nearby or a pink bar up or a star on it, right? When it's just the hammer all by itself and nothing else is on it, higher stop rate, right? So the idea of the video is simply to explain the concept and the idea and bring back the old idea that we were working so effectively in January. And I really struggled until uh, two of the team members really showed me that they were using the 15 tick quite effectively. So the algos obviously play a big role in the success of the trade. I would say at this point your supernova is busted, so you're waiting. Um, I don't think this went supernova. I'm almost positive it didn't. Did not. You're still waiting. Waiting. Double pink is valid. By the way, if we're underneath the fourth channel, double pink is valid and good to go. You're now in supernova after this, so I would be long that star and get stopped, right? Again, you'll notice I go along here, no yellow dot in front. Yellow dot, star. I'm going to have to be really quick on the trigger here. So I want you to realize the time. You all notice in the room I've been wrapping up by uh, 10.30 most days, and the reason why is because after 10 o'clock I've noticed the stops going up. Um, so I'm probably going to skip right through lunch here now and just go to 12 o'clock. So at 12 o'clock, this is coming out of lunch. You can see we've gone supernova, hammer, pink bar up. You get obviously get your, you, you caught the rip there. And then also that white bar after we've gone, the white circle after we've gone supernova, quite effective. And you got to get out now because it's, it's, I'm not going to bother with uh, fed. I'm just going to go over to Thursday. And really, we would have been wrapped up by 10. But you'll notice how many of the mornings are profitable on this. Sorry, I lost Thursday morning. Here we go. So Thursday morning. All right, I'll just pick it up before the open. You can see we're pushing down. So I need supernova first. So you will see right, did any of these go supernova? Nope, 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 nope. No supernova, nothing doing. The only exception to that is the, the white bar, again, the, with the white dot and the double pink off the bottom. That's a long for me in almost any market, uh, particularly the equity markets. All right, it's now gone supernova, so the next bottom of the channel trade. Okay, so I'm going to take the next bar, hammer up, so I'm going to be long that star. I'm scaled, and then I'm paid, right? Um, again, I would like a triangle down in front of the star or yellow dot or a purple bar. Down the bottom, I'm gonna still, we're still in supernova, right? 
Okay, now I would consider the supernova broken. I'm not going to do anything. All right, I'm looking for it to go supernova again. Now we're in supernova. This bar has set us into supernova. So I'm looking for the push down. Don't get it. First push down to the bottom of the channel. Too bad we missed that. And it's turning into 1030. Okay. I'm going to take that star. Paid. Okay. Oh, I take it back. I won. It was New York launch. Let's go to after New York launch. I want to see it go supernova again. Nothing, nothing. Supernova now. So purple bar, star, long. I got paid. Purple bar, hammer, long. I got stopped. Nothing on the hammer there, right? Stopped. Oh, wait, I missed the whole day. I'm sorry. That never occurred because I lost the end of the day. This was the end of the day right here. That was the last trade, 1418. And it got you paid. Apologies. Then I'm going to go into Friday. So here's 730. I'm waiting for it to go supernova. Right. So again, pink bar, white dot star, even if that's not gone supernova, I will take the loss on that. I'm long on that. Oh, that's 730. Odds are I didn't get it, a single thing on it. Um, but again, at the bottom of the channel, let's come back to the bottom. One, purple bar hammer, two. And again, I want to see the triangle up right behind it. Um, let's see if it'll push down. Purple bar, star. I'm long on that. Um, you can see it got quite, this is all, actually, I'm going to take this back. This is all 7.30. Sorry, I just got lost in the minutia. Let's let's roll out to like 7.45 and start over. Okay, supernova. See how there's nothing on it? I need the pink bar up, and it's still a 10 bar, 10 tick stop if I take that. What date am I on? I apologize. I just did the week of 8.4. That's cool. No problem. I'm just going to go to the next week. I went back further than I thought I did. Let me go to 410, Monday morning. So sorry, I'm on the wrong date, but it doesn't matter. It still works just fine. We're coming in. You can see we're trend down. I have to have it go supernova. It's gone supernova right here. This is 842. It's gone supernova. Right? That means if I take this purple bar hammer, I didn't get the triangle up, 10 point stop. Um, not going to take that. I'm going to wait for it to go supernova again. Now the next bar I'll take, I'm long on that bar. White bar star, stopped. That's fine. We need to see, oh, you know what? 8.50 to 9 o'clock. Sorry, disoriented on time, trying to do it too fast. That's why we don't trade 8.50 to 9 o'clock, by the way. So let's get past 9 o'clock. Supernova again. Um, again, down to the bottom of the channel. There's nothing on that. I'm probably not taking it. It lifts, right? So, oh, but on the triangle up pink bar, I'll take that with a 10-point stop. Sorry. So, again, if the bottom bar has an algo like a star, um, if it's an apex trap as well outside the channel, I'll take that. I know I'm laying it down, but I'm trying to do this quickly so I can get done with it and move on with my Sunday to do ES and CL. Uh, I am probably dropping GC because too many people have noted the correlation of interest rates to movements in GC, and uh, and I lost a good chunk of change in GC yesterday, and I don't like losing money, so I would have made a ton in CL, lost some in GC, so I'm making a totally emotional decision and switching over to CL. I know no one likes that, but that's what I'm doing. It's gone again. We're in supernova, purple bar. Uh, just with the hammer, no algo, but I'm probably going to go along that while we're in supernova. And then the pink triangle up. No matter which bar you enter on, 10-point stop. Right? I'm not taking any of this at the top of the channel. I will take the next algo as long as it's not naked. Mm, but now it's trying to get... Um, I'm long. Paid. Oh, you know what? I'm not long. It's 11 o'clock. My morning was over right here. It's my last trade of the day. Let me get to lunch. I'll go ahead and do last week as well, quickly. Let's get back over here. New York lunch. You can see we're trending up. Bottom of the channel. I'm along the star. I'm along this. Again, 10-point stop. 
12 point stop, somewhere in that range. I'm long here. As long as we stay in supernova, and it's near the bottom of the channel. Again, I'm going to get, this is a series where I can get, uh, this is the last hour, I'm not going to trade it, but this is a, a place where you can get stopped a lot. You'll notice the bar that's strongest is it has the white dot on it. They're rare, but they pay very, very nicely, right? Um, let's go to Tuesday morning. So we're rolling in here at 6 a.m., so you can already see, I'll, I'll do it early. We go supernova. I'm going to go along the star up at 8.05. I'm probably not because I'm talking in the room, but if I see it, I would. Uh, this is an apex trap on a pink bar. I'm going to go along on that. Uh, we go supernova again. Uh, if I take this star, which I probably would, I'm going to get stop minus 10. And then this drop is going to put me out of supernova, right? So I'm just going to wait. I want to see it go supernova again. Supernova. I'm taking my next setup. Long. Paid. Mm, nothing on that. I'm probably not taking that. Oh, I'll take the pink bar up. 10 points. Stop. Paid. Again, it's a scalp, but you got to realize every 10 points, $200, right? So that's 74 to 86. More than enough to get your 10 points. And you have a one-to-one -one RR when you do that. Um, you can start to see we're going in, in a downtrend. If I take this, I get stopped. I might have taken it, but then, and I would have taken this bar here, and I'm almost sure this stops because I know what happens next. Oh, no, it pays. Good, 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 good. But I'll take the bars with the white dots on it. Long. There's no question in my mind. We've gone supernova. I'm super long right on that star bar. Did I get my 10 points? Let's see. Again, it's pure scalping. You're going to have to use higher time frames to figure out what can push. But this is 65 to 75. 7 to 10 points gets you paid and covers almost all your risk with a high win rate, right? Apex trap, I'm long on that. There's no question after going supernova. Ended apex traps into the base of the supernova. That one I would push, right? Uh, and then again, you'll see the bar with the white bar after we're in, with the white dot once we're in supernova. It pushes. Again, this is in supernova. I'm going to go along this. I get my 10 points, but not much more. Um, we're still in supernova, I'm, and that's an apex trap. I'm going to take that star. Nothing here. I just don't like the way it looks. Pretty simple. Um, I'm going to wait till it goes supernova again, and that's the end of the day, by the way. And some of these were over New York lunch, so I apologize. <laughs> When I'm going through them, here's Wednesday. Again, hit me with critiques, criticisms, questions, anything you have. Here's Wednesday morning. This is Fed Day. All right, so we're coming in. This is 724. We've gone supernova. All right, let me erase the lines. I'm doing nothing. That's econ, obviously. Let's just scoot over to 8.30. There's 8.30. I'm waiting for it to go supernova. Again, it's gone supernova here. If you trade in the first 10 minutes of the day, we all know what the deal is. No big deal. Now I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for supernova. Unless I get double pink off the bottom or a white bar. Supernova, I'm long on the star. Paid. That's a home run if you got that. Uh, long on the star. Pink bar up. Um, we're in supernova. That's all good. Star, I'm long. I might have gotten stopped on my on my stop. Let's see. 0191. Nope, survived. You got paid. Um, need supernova again. You, you're now in supernova, so I'm going to do it bar by bar. I'm long that pink bar. Stopped. Long that pink bar. Paid. Long. Stopped. Now I'm going to pause because that's unusual. Actually, I'm not stopped because it's 9.50 to 10 o'clock. I won't trade in that range. Apologies. Now I need to go supernova again. So all these stops never happen for me. It's past 10 o'clock. Double pink. I'm long. And Paid. That's Wednesday, and then I'm done because it's Fed Day. Let's go to Thursday. Well, 
We'll start at 7 o'clock, supernova. This is all central times, by the way. So, again, on the pullback, I'm long. Oh, wait, that's 7.30. That's a lie. I'd never be long there. Let's scoot out to 8.35. So, obviously, supernova, I would take that pink bar long at 8.42. I would also take these bars, the star with the, with the white star. I'm obviously jacking 10 points each time. I get that off. I'm long all of this. This is a stop. This is long. This is long. Uh, that's long. Anything with a white dot on it, I'm long. Um, bottom of the channel, long there, purple bar, hammer, paid. Long and stopped. Um, long again, triangle down, hammer, triangle up, paid the second time, and paid again. This is still all supernova through here, and I'm probably done for the day at this point. Um, at 10 o'clock, my stops go up. And I'm pretty tired. It's a, it's a lot of work on that. So then let's go to do Friday really quick. So here's Friday morning. You've gone supernova, purple bar, uh, hammer up long. That's pretty straightforward on that one. Um, this is 730. There was econ, so probably nothing. All right now we're waiting for it to go supernova again. That's again the white dot. I'll just take my loss on it every time. Even if I took it here, I'd take it here again. It just produces really beautiful trades. Uh, so long there. As long as I'm able to trade at 755, I'm getting ready to open the room side. So missed it. Supernova. I'm looking for the white dot. It doesn't really get low enough in the channel for me down here. So I had to have a white dot. I probably missed that. Long that white dot. Paid. Nothing, nothing. I need to go supernova again. Long, double pink, paid. Long that star. Oh, you know what? Not long the star. We've fallen out of supernova. Apologies. Waiting for supernova. The supernova. We're in supernova now. Iffy, but I, knowing how aggressive I am, I'm probably taking that. Paid. Or I take it on the triangle up with the pink bar with a 10-point stop. Uh, we're now into that 9.50 period, so I'm going to wait till after 10 o'clock. Long the white bar with the star. And I'll try to push those, and then my day's probably over. That's a good payout. So that's two weeks, Monday through Friday, 15 tick. And then I'll go through detail by detail in either the one-on-one -on -one coaching and as I can through the rim. But the supernova is back and should provide us with a great, great deal of relief. So I hope that helps. That's two weeks of review and uh, profitability. So pretty kick-ass. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. My name is Simon. I'm a trade and perform coaching. Um, I'm going to post this trade. So if anyone has any questions about the process, the room is currently full. Uh, I'm letting a select few people uh, join, join the room as guests uh, uh, just so you all can see what we do. And then if you're interested... And joining the room as spaces become available, I'll let people join. You can reach me at tradeandperform at gmail.com, T-R-A-D-E-N-P-E-R-F-O-R-M at gmail.com. Have a great day and thank you all.